Good morning children. Today we are learning about the transversal angles. Now look at the figure we have over here L and M. They both are not parallel to each other and that's a symbol of not parallel. So L is not parallel to M and this red colored intersecting line is called transversal. As I have drawn a transversal over here, I am getting eight angles. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, angle 7, angle 8. They all are have some special names or you can say they all have some relations. Let learn about the vocabulary associated with them. Now, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6. These four angles lie in the interior of the non-parallel lines. So, these four angles are called interior angles. So, we can say interior angles are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5 and angle 6. Now, angle 1, angle 2, angle 8, angle 7, they lie at the exterior space at the exterior space of these lines so they are called exterior angles so angle 1 angle 2 angle 8 angle 7 they are called exterior angles angle 1 angle 2 angle 7 angle 8 now next term on, next term we have alternate interior angles alternate this word means every other suppose i say i have the classes of maths on alternate days it means leave one day, if we have other on monday then leave tuesday the next day will be on wednesday so, alternate interior angles. First of all, I have to look at the interior angles. So, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, they are interior angles. If I look for the alternate after 3, I will not take 4. I will move to angle 6. So, angle 3, angle 6 are called alternate angles. Similarly, Angle 4 and angle 5 will called alternate interior angles. Look, they are forming the shape like Z. So, angle 3, angle 6, they are alternate interior angles. And angle 4 and angle 5 is also called alternate interior angles. So, there are two pairs of alternate and interior angles. We have angle 3, angle 6. That's a one pair. Other pair we have angle 4, angle 5. Now, we next term is your alternate exterior angles. What do you mean by alternate exterior angles? Look at this one. We have angle 1, angle 2, angle 7, angle 8 are exterior angles. If I look at alternate, after 1, I will leave 2, I will move to angle 7. So, angle 1, angle 7. Again, they are forming the shape of Z. So, they are angle 1, angle 7 are alternate exterior angle. Angle 2, angle 8 are also called alternate exterior angles. 
so we have angle 1 angle 7 that's a one pair then we have angle 2 angle 8 that is a second pair so angle 3 angle 6 alternate interior angles angle 4 angle 5 alternate interior angles angle 1 angle 7 alternate exterior angles angle 2 angle 8 alter, alternate exterior angles now we have next one as corresponding angles in corresponding angles correspond means which are sharing the similar function now look at angle 1 if I look at the position of angle 1 it is above the line L and at the left side of transversal I repeat again position of angle 1 is a uh, is uh, above the line L and at the left side of the transversal the same position is shared by angle 5 angle 5 is also above the line M and at the left side of the transversal. So the first pair of corresponding angle will be angle 1, angle 5. Now angle 2 is also above the angle above the line L and at the right side of transversal the same position is shared by angle 6 angle 6 is also above the line M and at the right side of the transversal so we have the second pair as angle 2 angle 6 so Now, angle 3. Can you guess which angle is sharing the same position of angle 3? Angle 4? No. Angle 7? No. Angle 8? Yes. Angle 3, angle 8, they both are sharing the similar position. How? Angle 3 below the line and towards the left side angle 8 below the line m and towards the left side so we have the third pair as angle 3 angle 8 and the last pair what's we left out yes it's angle 4 angle 7 so there are four pairs of corresponding angles in this case the line is not parallel thank you